Hallo und guten Tag. Welcome back to Legends with Durka. Brandenburg is joining the ranks of Tier 7 Premium Kriegsmarine Battleships and Legends, leaving the field up there pretty crowded. Lots of us are wondering which one of these battleships is going to be the best, Tirpitz, Brandenburg, or Odin. Well, today we're going to review all three of them in depth to help you decide which German torpedo battleship at Tier 7 is the best. So sit back, relax, let's get into it. So, we're going to break this down and compare survivability, main gun performance, maneuverability, and concealment. To keep everything fair, we're going to use the same exact ship setup on each one. Azard Lane Scharnhorst, and we are using Cunningham and De Ravel. There are many directions you could go with the inspirations. I would say Kedrov and Von Hipper would be great runner ops. The modules. Aiming Systems Mod 1, Steering Gears, Target Acquisition, and Main Battery Mod 3. So these ships have decent accuracy for German battleships and very fast reloads. Honorable mentions here, the Damage Control Module would be something that you could possibly look into depending on how much you're getting uh, reduced to a pile of embers by HE spam. It would reduce your fire and flood duration 15% and help make these battleships even more tanky. I use steering gears as it helps in brawling torpedo situations to turn and fire torpedoes. It's just my preference. Survivability wise, off of the above setups, Tirpitz is going to be number one here by quite a ways. 69,000 health is going to be 10,000 more than Brandenburg. In the category of heals as well, Tirpitz will be the better ship. Tirpitz heals, 12,600, Brandenburg's 9,000, and again, Odin somewhere there in the middle. So if you had Master Mechanic in five heals, that would be 15 extra thousand health that Tirpitz could get back. So very tanky indeed. Torpedo protection, they're all about the same. 22% for Tirpitz and Odin, and the Brandenburg's is 23%. Now on to the armor, and it's pretty simple for these ships because they're essentially the same. You can look close through the armor viewer. There are minor differences, 10 millimeters here or there, but really nothing major. What I would point out, though, is Brandenburg's Citadel seems to extend a little farther past the front turret than her sister ships. Also, the Odin turrets, they are very susceptible to being knocked out, even though they all have essentially the same armor on the turrets. And I think this is a separate metric in the game dictating how easily modules, guns being a module, can get knocked out. One advantage that Brandenburg does actually have over the other ships is a 350mm upper belt, so it's a little bit better than Odin interprets here. But all of them, again, pretty similar. 32mm bow, 60mm icebreaker. They all have turtleback armor, so they're all relatively tanky. Now on to the guns. So the Tirpitz has 380mm guns and the other ships both have identical 305s. Let's look at their damage per minute. This chart is going to be the damage over a course of minute shooting without shatters, bounces, ricochets, or fires. Here we see Brandenburg is the clear winner, followed very closely by Odin and then Tirpitz will be in last place in this category. It's not a big win for Brandenburg here but it, it definitely is in first place. Now these are German battleships, and what would a German battleship be without talking about secondaries? So we'll add them to the comparison here. Even though, again, I feel like they're really not the most important metric for a battleship in World of Warship Legends. Overall, Brandenburg has the most. 20 105mm guns. It also has 12 150mm guns. So the most in this category as well. Worth pointing out, Odin doesn't have 105mm guns, they're 128. So they do penetrate a little bit more armor. As for range, Odin 5.2, Tirpitz 5.8, and then the Brandenburg's base range is 7.6 kilometers. So that's pretty comparable to Bismarck. The anti-aircraft. This is pretty useful, I would say, for battleships, especially if you don't have good support from your team. And here, Brandenburg is excellent. 
It has an AA rating of 84. Turpitz is in second place at 71. And then finally, Odin is 59. The AP penetration. Of course, the 380s are going to be miles better than the 305s found on the Odin in the Brandenburg. At 12 kilometers, Turpitz will be able to penetrate 495 millimeters of armor, and Odin just 386. So that's a pretty big difference in the overall gun performance, and obviously the larger ones are going to be a lot better. The torpedoes on all three ships are identical. Four 533mm torps on each side. 6k range, 13,700 damage. The important thing to point out is where they are mounted. Odin's are kind of back on the stern, where Turpets and Brandenburg's are on the midship, giving them much better angles, especially if you were attacking someone head on. If you were somehow kiting away and someone's following you, then the Odin's torpedoes are better, but generally that's not something that you are doing. Also worth pointing out, in typical German battleship fashion, these torpedo launchers are just out open on the deck, and they are very susceptible to being knocked out. On to the maneuverability, which is pretty important for battleships, especially ones like this where you are going to be brawling and launching torpedoes and things like that. Overall, top speed. The Brandenburg, again, first place, 32.5 knots, just edging out the other two battleships. Turning circle. It looks like the Odin has the best turning circle, and then they each kind of climb up by 30 meters each. Brandenburg and then Turpitz. Rudder shift. Odin again is the most maneuverable in this category, 11.2. And then finally, concealment. They are all about tied. 14.6, the Odin, 14.7 for the other two ships. These are the cold hard stats. Objective information on how each ship does in each category. Next is my opinion. These boats are very, very similar, but at the same time, they're quite different. My overall picks are going to be number one, Turpitz, and then the Odin, and finally, Brandenburg. Now, let me explain. Considering their very nature, these are tank and brawling battleships. Up in your face, secondaries, torpedoes, and the like. And having a lower HP amount is a bit of a detriment. Here, I see Turpitz is the clear winner. 10k more health to start with, and heals that are way more effective. Like mentioned earlier, 5 heals are good for 63,000 health. Compare that to her little brothers, and Turpitz has a lot more health to work with. Odin is going to be my second choice, and mainly it rates higher than Brandenburg for one simple consumable. Sonar. Sonar gives you a lot of utility in the ability to deal with sneaky destroyers, ships in smoke, and to help against torpedoes. There are many times in a battleship where you are left alone to deal with destroyers without the support from your team, and here, the sonar consumable gives you options. While Brandenburg does have the better damage output and the extra firepower is nice, I still think sonar on Odin makes it more of a utilitarian ship. Now I'm not rating Brandenburg very much lower than her siblings, I think it is a close, close race. In fact, the top speed of Brandenburg and that great AA firepower make her a strong, strong contender at tier 7. It's just my opinion, if you are playing a tanky battleship, you're going to have more trouble with Brandenburg. It's not as forgiving as Bismarck or Turpitz. Now, while I did the same builds for this comparison, if I had all three ships, I would set them up a little bit differently, because hey, you don't need three of the same thing. In this case, Brandenburg, you're going to need to buff its survivability. Things like Azur Lane Nelson, maybe Shear, and possibly Damage Control Module. With your smaller HP pool, you're going to have to do things like this to protect yourself, especially if you want to play aggressive, use the torpedoes in the secondaries, and all that fun stuff. I am of course curious to hear what you all think of these three great ships, so don't be shy, leave me some comments down below giving me your reasoning for which one you are going to be choosing. Now with that, I would ask that you hit that thumbs up button and maybe share this video with someone you know that is into the Kriegsmarine battleships and are curious about these three. Alright guys, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.